So an exciting opener there to the Flat Track UK Grand National Championship for 2011 with Aidan Collins starting much as he finished last season. Of course, the double winner narrowly missed out in 2009 and bounced back to win both the outdoor and the indoor championships last season. And he is already well on his way towards retaining his crown. As we head into heat number two, Alan Burtwistle goes off the inside of the front row with next to him Jeff Kane. Anthony Brown goes off gate three. Derek Brindley off the outside. On row two, we've got David Haith on the inside. Darren Trapmore next to him. Just a couple of late practice starts off that second position. Tyson Nelson off gate three. The Australian wildcard and Steve Plater off the outside. The back row, Steve Coles, Mike Ryan, Paul Valletta and Guy Sutherland. It's heat number two. Lots of movement there on the start. The number 17, David Haith creeping significantly has to move back towards his stump position that was a full start we'll go again with heat number two Tyson Nelson was also moving there the man in the orange Kevlar's off that gate three position on the second row should be a fast competitor he's experienced plenty of flat track in his native Australia and of course competes regularly on circuits of this size in his speedway racing Takes five, then a poor start there from the inside for Alan Burtwistle. Tyson Nelson with a good one off row two, but goes straight to the outside. Six riders ahead of him, bunching on the curb. He had to back off coming out of turn two, but he's already up to fifth. Burtwistle, number 30, now around the outside of Kane, number 45. Sees his second place very well there, coming off the fourth turn. David Haith on the inside there with Darren Trapmore sandwiched between two riders. Three wide into the second lap. Burtwistle just too wide. Haith passed two in one. Go there. Three abreast in the squabble for fifth there too. Nelson lost out. Steve Plater made a double pass. They hit that place nicely. So it's Brindley, Hayes, Kane, Burtwistle, Plater, Nelson passing Trapmore to move back into sixth position. The orange liveried Australian now slides up the inside of Plater, makes that move stick and moves wide to sweep to the outside of Kane as he attempts to make a move for fourth position. Little resistance offered there. And Nelson keeps going on the top bend. Number 30, Alan Burtwistle tries to block him out, but Tyson Nelson has come through into third position quite spectacularly. It's now a battle up the inside as David Hayes gets very close to the back of Derek Brindley and Tyson Nelson almost wipes himself out on the second turn on the safety fence here at Cowley. As the race begins to settle down, it's Brindley who leads the way with Hayes in second. Nelson looking for an outside line into the first turn as he charges towards the two riders out in front. He's gone round both of them, he won't go. Tyson Nelson leads the way, I said to watch out for him. The wild card is certainly wild in this one. He's had a couple of incidents and a couple of times it's looked like he was going through the safety fence, much like David Haith there on the exit of turn four, who got a bit out of shape but holds on to second position. Steve Plater now closing in on the front three. He's going to have to try to get past Derek Brindley if he's going to claim third place, but it looks like it's going to be Tyson Nelson who's going to celebrate the victory as he comes on to the eighth and final lap. It is Tyson Nelson in front. Steve Plater still challenging up the inside line there. Plater makes that pass for third. Boy, was that tight. Steve Plater coming through. Number 40, Paul Balletta down on the entrance to turn three. The riders negotiating his stricken machine. Brindley sent way too wide. And now Darren Trapmore's getting in on the act. Sweeps across the front of him and snatches away fourth place in the run down to the line. So more exciting racing in the second heat with positions being decided on the very final turn. Darren Trapmore, well, that was a lucky escape for him because he had come through from towards the back of the field and ultimately managed to get fourth place right in the run down to the line there. It's Tyson Nelson, though, on his victory lap of honour. He picks up the 15 race points to join Aidan Collins at the top of the standings. Number 17, David Haith, finishes up in second place and will pick up 12. Steve Plater with some great late moves, moved through into third position and picks up 10 race points. Nine for the number 20 rider, Darren Trapmore from the middle row. Derek Brindley will have to settle with just eight after being passed in the latter stages. Alan Burtwistle finishes on seven. Jeff Kane gets six, Steve Coles five, Anthony Brown four, Guy Sutherland three, Mike Ryan finishes on two.